to set up the scene for the player to go and use the swap from to back, go ahead and place the player inside the scene. Click and hold or click on your select button to go to properties. We're going to take the player and just look for the one that has the swap front to back option right here. Go ahead and click on it. So we want to do the same thing we did before. We're going to enable this one. However, the extra one we're going to do is say is moving since the player can move around. The pivot position, we'll go ahead and move it down to about right here. And then we'll have this one show in the editor. All right. Now, when it comes to the uh, uh, the player staying in here, again, kind of like we did before, we'll go to the gravity button and click off of gravity. All right. Now, these three boxes all have collision turned on, so let's go ahead and turn these colli the colliders off. I'm just going to turn colliders off on each one, that way the player can walk through the boxes. Alright. So now we can push play, colliders are all turned off. And now, when the player is down below, his collider box hits, and if you find that your collider box uh, is going too soon or too quick, you just change the uh, the timing on it, the size of it. So there, he now can actually go through pretty well as he goes through all the pieces. There we go. So now you have the character interacting forward and backward with the scene and managing to find his place in it. So if these were bushes, if it's trees, uh, buildings. It's going to be a lot easier to set it up this way and let the uh, uh, auto front to back um, do the swapping for you.